what's going on y'all welcome back to the channel it is your boy winston p strategist man going into 2025 what the heck will trucking be like if you stay to the end of the video guys i promise you you're gonna go into 2025 ready and fully prepared so let's just jump right into this video man without further ado without holding you any longer let's go Now guys, what do we need to expect going into 2025, okay? The most important thing we need to look at is the history of America and who's in office and how it affects trucking, okay? Your past predicts your future. That's how I'm gonna put it. Now, I don't want you to hold me to that and be like, oh man, you know, blah, 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 whatever. I'm just saying, if you look at how things have been historically, you can sort of gauge what is gonna happen you know using politics i won't say any more than that but those of you who know what i'm talking about you I, you can read between the lines all right so just look at you know the historical data on trucking guys and you know who push for what who pushes for what policy depend depending on if it's democrat or republican and stuff like that but my assessment of 2025 is very very simple i do believe that it's going to be possibly a better outlook for trucking okay i want to be careful on how i put that because you know we're going to be going off of a lot of hype a lot of emotionalism because the way things are right now is just like people are looking like man trump is in office you know and he's just going to get the country better and different things like that but guys i don't want you to get your hopes up way too high before you get your knowledge up okay so trump being in office you know is in my opinion you know if you have a business and you know if his first uh, time around helped you out then you know you can sort of expect the same logic to follow however the way i'm gonna put it, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try to keep from ranting you know, I'm, I don't write scripts, guys. So just, just try to follow me. Just try to follow what I'm saying. Don't be, you know what I'm saying, listening too hard. You feel me? This is what I'm trying to say, all right? Trucking right now has a lot of other issues other than the economy, right? Now, it does help when you have certain people pushing for different things when they have, you know, political influence. However, right now what we're seeing in trucking is that we have a lot of supply all right we have a lot of supply of drivers and you know we don't have that demand of freight so that's what we're seeing so my assessment of this situation is simply that you know if the economy starts flowing you know we can sort of expect trucking to go in a better direction now that is just one piece of the puzzle okay what about you know the over saturation of drivers I have seen a lot of people go out of business. You know what I'm saying? We have seen like thousands of MC numbers shut down. I've I've been actually I've been helping people from left to right. People have been coming to me like, "Yo, Winston, I saw you, you know, sell your trucking business and I want to do the same thing." And I've helped, you know, a, a good amount of people, you know, so far. Some people I tell them like, "You might as well not even sell cuz it's not worth anything." And some people I've seen MCs go for, you know, $20,000. And of course, you can sell it for a lot higher, depending on how your company is set up. So I have seen a ton of people go out of business, which is unfortunately, if you're in trucking, that that's always going to be a good thing for you because it's less hands in the plate. Let's just put it like that. You know what I mean? However, over, you know, the grand scheme of things is you, you have a lot going on, guys. You have a lot of fraudulent activity in trucking i've seen guys work for you know good companies and didn't get paid we've seen companies that were huge go out of business right so you know this this video is just supposed to be like uh, uh you know just getting everything get together going into the new year you know what i'm saying getting your mindset together getting getting caught getting your playbook together all right that's what you need to be focused on you know how are you going to go into 2024 2025 no no matter the outcome of you know any political influence that's where your mindsets need, need to be and i apologize guys if i'm slipping up on my words whatever so just make it to the, to the end of this video you're gonna get some good information you're gonna get great information out of me all the time all right so 
how do you prepare to be in a good position no matter what happens okay as i've always said it depends on what type of trucking you're doing so if you're chasing the drive van freight you're gonna have them drive van problems man and i know for a lot of you new guys you say well i don't have an option uh, drive van is you know what's giving me a chance that's cool you know get your knowledge pay attention to safety you know, safety is how you make the money in this business. Get your driving skills down pat and then start moving around the industry. You know, give yourself a solid year to understand trucking. And after that, you know, you can start moving around and start getting your hands, you know, into some different things. So that is how I look at it, guys. You know what I'm saying? Um, if you're not in driving and, you know, you're re really advanced in trucking and, you know, you're still struggling, your business is not you know where you want it to be guys start thinking about things like maybe opening up a brokerage now i know that might sound crazy no that might sound crazy but we say all the time if your wheels are turning you're not earning i'm gonna put it this way if you don't have a freight <laughs> it don't matter if you got a truck or not like that's when your your wheels really stop turning if you don't have the freight but as a broker you're you're able to do a lot more because you have direct access to shippers so essentially i hate to put it this way but you're sort of cutting out the middleman you're sort of just giving yourself a chance to actually grow in the business without so many hands and you know so many filters and obstacles that's blocking you from actually running your trucking business to to its full potential all right so if you're that guy and you're wondering like, man, how can I start a brokerage? That's so far out of sight for me. Believe it or not, it's not that hard. Believe it or not. So you go and get your broker, you know, um, license simply by, you know, going through the FMCSA and filing, right? That's, that's the first step. You want to create your LLC. Most importantly, the easiest way to find freight as a broker because you can do all the business stuff you can set up your llc you can go file for your your brokerage and all that type of stuff that's 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 the easy stuff right but here's a little tip this is why i told you if you stick around to the end of the video you're gonna get some gems out of me all right the best way to actually find freight guys is who you're running with already it's that simple if you're a truck driver and you're hauling loads you know where the money is simple as that brokers have to literally sit and look at a screen all day make 10,000 phone calls to land probably two clients you know to move their shipment as a truck driver you're going to every single warehouse every single shipper in america if you spent 10 years in trucking you've met over <laughs> 50,000 shippers like all you have to do is keep a record of the places that you go and if they met you face to face you can call them and tell them like hey I've delivered to your facility, you know, for a number of years now and or, or quite a amount of times. And, you know, I have a brokerage and, you know, I, I'm going to make sure your freight is safe because shippers are worried about, you know, liability, theft and all type of things. So it's all so it's also based on trust. It's not about dealing with brand new brokerages because brand new brokerages will scam and shippers don't want anything to do with that. Okay, because that's how they make their money when their shipment gets there. So if they know they can trust you and you've already built some type of rapport on the trucking side, it's not that hard for you to transition into the brokerage side, believe it or not, okay? That's, that's, I actually did it. I actually did it. So this is not me just saying something that sounds good, but I was delivering to a certain place as a truck driver, and they offered me a direct contract to run the loads. Now, you may say, well, you know, that's common. You're, you weren't a broker slow down okay so as a truck driver you actually don't need you know to open up a brokerage technically right but if you have a brokerage you have access to multiple trucks that's the that's the difference you can go get you can cut out the middleman by yourself right at, on the trucking side but if you have a brokerage you can actually take that load and you can post it so now it's just not about your one truck so that is why I'm saying getting a brokerage is not a bad idea because y'all are probably thinking like, yo, I get what you're saying. I don't need to go open up a brokerage. I have my trucking business. You know, he's not telling you everything. Yada, yada, yada. 
listen, I can't put it all into one video, okay? I cannot. And if you guys want to learn step by step, I have probably 10 hours worth of information that I have packed into my community. So if you're interested in joining my community, it's free and you want to get, you know, to my modules or whatever, you know, you can view those or you download my trucking app. Yes, I launched my trucking app. You can download it and you can see my modules there. All right, if you want a step-by-step -step walkthrough. So that is what I would do, guys, going into 2025. I would come up with a solid game plan. I would do something completely different from everybody else. You know, how many truck drivers out there right now are thinking about starting a brokerage, okay? Probably not a lot of them. And a lot of them are probably not thinking that it's worth doing or trying to go through the homework of figuring out how to actually negotiate with shippers and all this paperwork and all that type of stuff. Let me let me break your mindset for a second. If you've ever hauled a load as a truck driver and you had to so much as speak to the shipper directly, that's all the experience you need. It's just speaking, guys. It's just going to pick up paperwork. You're if you're if you're the truck driver, you're doing a lot more work than the broker. Because sometimes the broker sit back and they actually let you do the work so they don't really have to do it. Now, I don't want to downplay the brokers that are watching this video. I know for a fact how much work we we do and i say we because i have a broker's mindset okay let me just put that out there i know exactly how much work we do because the liabilities the paperwork um just the liability alone is a big issue having that broker bond of seventy-five thousand, i get it my point in what i'm simply saying is if you're a truck driver dude you are i want to say at least at least 65 percent along your broker's journey the rest of it is just paperwork liability and you know a lot of diligence because you have to be very diligent as a broker you got to stick to your guns okay and you you, you do need to have you know a, a a network around you as a broker so that's another thing you got to have some guys that that's going to be you know that you can trust all right so with that being said guys that's what I would do going into 2025. Simple, simple, simple uh, things you can apply. It's just do something differently. Just, just do something differently. Don't fall into the emotional, yeah, we got you know a new president. Everything's going to be good. That's what the data suggests historically. However, I don't just want you to go off of the excitement. I actually want you to put yourself in a position that no matter what happens, okay, you can thrive in the next coming you know years okay so this is the end of my video guys if you like my content make sure you smash that like button make sure you keep on commenting and drop me your thoughts i want to know what you guys think man i'm about to go in the house i got some stuff to do so yeah i'll see you on the next one let's go